Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Back on the topic of the NFL today. Today, Jay and I are going to be bringing you our top MVP candidates for the 2021 season. But before we get into that video, for the question of the day, another fight scenario. We got this time Khalil Mack versus Miles Garrett. Who do you think would take that fight? Comment below. Stick around to the end of the video for who we think would win that fight. But Jay, give me some names uh, for the MVP race this coming season. There's going to be some obvious ones. You know, Patrick Holmes, Aaron Rodgers. Those are probably the two best quarterbacks. I think Aaron Rodgers has probably been an MVP candidate for every exactly. year of his career. He's just probably have one of the – he's probably the most God-given, talented quarterbacks of all time. Just and, and with skill. the Packers are going to be essentially the same team. Yeah. So I expect them to be just as good almost as last year. I think Josh Allen, he was a conversationalist last year. I think he could be right in that realm again. However, Josh Allen does have his ups and downs. We really got to see will he get a run game this year to rely on that will up his game, honestly. It won't take anything away from it. There will also be – Russell Wilson looking for revenge. These are these known name guys that are top seven, top seven quarterbacks in the league. Lamar Jackson just won it two years ago. He'll probably be in the conversation. But some guys that might be under the radar yet still be an MVP type of candidate. Tom Brady, Buccaneers, he's up there in age. But when you have one of the best receiving cores of all time, you can make the argument if they bring back A.B. between Gronk and Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, A.B., Cameron Bray, O.J. Howard, Scotty Miller, Tyler Johnson, the list is stacked, and that can can Wow, that can carry Tom Brady to an and, MVP case. And last year, he, they didn't have the immediate success that we thought they might have, but his passer rating and QBR was up top of the league, so he could be that good again, so that's a good point. Yeah, having that chemistry with this receiving core is definitely going to up their game a lot this year. A couple other ones on some new teams. Matt Stafford with the Rams. We're expecting a lot out of him. Can we expect an MVP type of run? Who knows? He has the receiving core. He has the offensive line. We have the running backs. I mean, that sounds like a bull take, but... We don't know the max potential of Matt Stafford. Maybe he is an MVP type of quarterback. Carson Wentz, that's a bit of a stretch because we don't even know if Carson Wentz is still worthy being a starter. But who knows if he was on an MVP run, run in 2017 with Frank Wright. Now he's back with them. Who knows? Deshaun Watson, wherever he goes. I'm kind of stealing the show here from you, but I'm just kind of going over the names. We can mm -hmm. evaluate it later. And then, of course, a couple young guys. Joe Burrow off his injury and Justin Herbert from the Chargers. These are all big names that I think could put up the numbers being the MVP conversation. Yeah, I think... Outside of Rodgers, Mahomes, you said a lot of good names. I really want Deshaun Watson to get into a situation where he can be in the conversation because talent-wise, I think he's 100% capable of it. Um, now, obviously not in Houston, but say last year with with his numbers, career-high passing yards, I don't know the number, but you stick him in San Francisco, you stick him in Miami, he could have been an MVP last year with his stats. It just sucks for him to be in Houston right now. And then... All the off-field stuff going on with Deshaun Watson. I don't know how it's going to play out for him yeah. next year. But I hope Deshaun gets into a situation where he can really get the credit that he his talent deserves. And then uh, Justin Herbert, of course. Maybe he can follow the second-year pattern of Mahomes and, and Lamar Jackson. Of, of They both went MVP second year. And I think he's got the talent. He's He's got the best frame of the two of them, or of the three of them. So I think Herbert should definitely be in the conversation. I think Lamar Jackson should be... Um, like he gets a lot of hate, and I'm not a huge fan of him, but he does he, he does run the ball obviously really well. And his uh, with the addition of Sammy Watkins, his passing attack could get better. And um, Kyler Murray also with the with the uh, the Cardinals was kind of a early season potential dark horse last year. And I think JJ Watt building that defense, Malcolm Butler helping out that defense, and I think D Hop's going to come back and have an even better year. I think Kyler deserves to be in the conversation as well. Yeah, Kyler Murray's a big one. A lot of people, some have him in his top eight quarterback. Some people say you got to get rid of him while you can. It's really a debate. But I do think also, you know, who knows what A.J. Green is going to turn out. That could be a great receiving core between D-Hop, A.J. Green, and Christian Kirk. And who knows, maybe at 16th overall, they'll get a Devontae Smith. And Kyler Murray's game will go to the next level, and he might be an easy MVP candidate. Overall, this year is full of quarterback, you know, studs. Of course, we kind of have to consider – positions outside of the quarterback Derrick Henry though went for 2,000 yards and he didn't win MVP I do think it was well deserved to go to Aaron Rodgers but it just shows how hard it is to win the most valuable player when you're not a quarterback to me the top five guys if I had to rank them would definitely go Mahomes Rodgers one and two no specific order of any of these five but like I said Mahomes Rodgers I think Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf they're already a top 10 wide receiver um, quarterback duo I think they could make the jump and be in top five this year, Josh Allen, he would be my fourth quarterback in there. And number five, I'd probably have to go with Tom Brady. Like I said, these are a lot of proven guys and obvious ones, but 
the fact that Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Kyler Murray, Matt Stafford are even being in this conversation now is an achievement for some of these guys because they've never been in it before. I think I, I think Stafford is certainly worthy of a top five conversation. Uh, I think his talent is there. Now we just obviously have never seen him play with a team like he's on right now. So that would be cool to see. Um, really interesting about Russell Wilson. Last year he started off as a clear candidate. He had yeah. he had like he was averaging three, four touchdowns for the first few games. He was he was really playing good football, and then he just took that midseason spill. And I don't expect – now, I don't see a, a season that Russ is not in the conversation for MVP, but I don't see next season starting off particularly hot for the Seahawks. There's just a lot of, I don't know, tension, I feel like, between Russ and the organization. He, um, he was – he got, I wouldn't say he got in trouble, but a month or so ago he said he wasn't happy with the offensive line. He wasn't happy with the Seahawks, and he didn't. the Seahawks didn't want him to say that out loud, whatever. So I don't think they're on good terms right now, and I just don't see the Seahawks being good, uh, being that good and Russ being in the conversation, unfortunately. I don't know if this might be a team that we see finish third or fourth in their division, which we haven't seen yeah. in a long time, because that division will be so good. But again, my top five, Rodgers, Mahomes, Lock in the top two, and then... I, d- I do want to throw Stafford in the top, maybe, like I said, no particular order, or like he said. But I think I want to throw Stafford at maybe in the three spot, and uh, I think I want to have Josh Allen. Okay, sorry, Allen in three spot, Stafford at four, and I don't think I want to throw Kyler Murray in as my fifth one. I think he's capable okay. of definitely being in that conversation. Not to put you on the spot, but if you had to pick a dark horse or a sleeper from each conference for MVP, who are you picking? So two. AFC, I'm going to go currently, I really just, my gut says Deshaun Watson. I think he's going to end up in a team that can put him in that spot. And then out of the NFC, uh, I guess I wouldn't consider... Kyler is a dark horse. He is, but I also threw him on the top five. I don't know. To me, Tom Brady is kind of a dark horse. Not yeah. because... I mean, because obviously he's he's the greatest ever, but I just feel like his play style is not MVP. He's just mm-hmm. smart, just cool winner. And I don't think he's really an MVP caliber guy anymore. So I think that would be my dark horse because I don't think anybody expects him to be that really dominant he's yeah. just gonna win games and with the relatively easy schedule this year for the bucks compared to last year you know having getting to play the nfc east this year he could go six and zero in his own division now that drew Brees is gone and then he could go four and oh when he plays the nfc east they got a lot of wins coming to him so tom brady his numbers could stack up my two dark horses would have to be both of the boys that live in la i would go matt stafford yeah. in the nfc for the rams and justin herbert for the la chargers i think both of us could Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. I'm actually going to change my mind. I think my dark horse out of the NFC actually might be Dak Prescott. He's got, obviously, nice. so much going on in Dallas. He just got a huge contract. The whole world is waiting for Dak to prove something, to change the fact that he's way below 500 against playoff teams. I think that would be my dark horse because we haven't even mentioned his name yet, but yeah. he's obviously, uh, I don't know, I like Max Kellerman's point that he's not quite elite, but he's headed there. I think he's a top 12 quarterback, not maybe maybe 10. But I think Dak Prescott would be my sleeper because I think he's got the talent. Well, I mean, last year, they even when Dak Prescott was in, they were not winning football games. But the numbers he was putting he up, was, he was passing yeah. over 400 he yards for like a game. He threw like 500 yards yeah. against the, the Browns. Yeah. Uh, so I think he's definitely worthy of being in the conversation. Yeah, to me, though, Herbert, I think we'll see that second-year trend of where he hops in the conversation and then Stafford. I don't think we've seen his max potential. Of course, he's had Calvin Johnson, but I feel like that's just it. Now he has Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, um, Van Jefferson, Tyler Higby, a great receiving core, what, probably the best coach he's ever had in Sean McVay, an amazing offensive line. I just think, and a great defense that's going to be able to control the pace of the football game. Matt Stafford is going to up his game completely, and like I said, Herbert is just going to follow that trend with his new head coach and Brandon Staley as well. Yeah, I think that also might be. I said to Sean – as my AFC sleeper, but just as easily could be Justin Herbert because obviously he's in a much better position than Deshaun is right now, and he's got the talent to do so. But that is it for our top MVP uh, candidates for 2021. Comment below if you agree with ours, and if not, tell me yours. But as far as the question today, Jay, you got Khalil Mack, Miles Garrett. Who's winning the fight? You know, I picked Miles Garrett to beat Aaron Donald. I picked Miles Garrett to beat Joey Bosa. Uh, Khalil Mack is not going to stop me yet. I, for, so far, I got Miles Garrett at three zero. I, I don't think Miles <laughs> Garrett can lose. You put him in the ring, he's going to win. I got Miles Garrett as well, guys. Thanks for watching. Two minute warning. <laughs>